Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Building Barry's Amusements in Minecraft. In today's episode we're building the one and only Barry's Big Dipper, but in this episode I'm just going to call it Big Dipper. As always, if you're enjoying this series and want to see more, please subscribe for more content like this in the future. Now let's get started with the Big Dipper. Now starting with the Big Dipper, we're beginning with the turnaround around the big windows. That was just to make it a lot easier, which actually greatly helped. Now I didn't notice this until I start building this recreation and as you can see I've filled in a little bit of this basically it turns out that the Big Dipper is actually one block above the whole pathway. I did notice that when I was down at Barry's Amusements and I only noticed it just because there was like a graveyard right next to one site and it turned out it was slightly elevated above the ground and that turns out that area has a small section it has some old like signs and stuff. So now I've finished the small turnaround, we're now moving on to the helix. This is the most painful part of the coaster in my opinion. So now I've finished the turnaround and we're now moving on to the helix, which in my opinion is the most painful part of the ride. It's not really a helix in my opinion, but it kind of counts as one, I'm probably pretty sure. But that section is the roughest out of it all. There are so many rough sections on the Big Dipper. Most notably the pull up from the Big Drop on the Big Dipper, which is the first drop. Now we're building the turnaround after the lift hill and before the drop. I remember the section so much because of the brilliant view that it gave. It wasn't the best view in the world, but it had a nice view over the forum area and kitty land. Also when I was on, the sun was setting and you could literally see there was a massive cruise ship. I'd, I don't think cruise ships go to Port Rush anymore, they more like park in Belfast, but I do remember that time where there were two massive cruise ships parked in the Port Rush Harbour. It was one of my most memorable rides on a roller coaster ever. Despite the fact the coaster itself was complete garbage. As you just saw now, I'm beginning the big pull up from the drop which leads into this big hill that goes over the station. Which that hill bit is so painful that literally my restraint opened a little bit. I know the coaster is safe and stuff, but was just very, very ter a terrifying feel, if you know what I mean. Now we're beginning the downwards twisting drop that leads into the loop. Now a theme of this video is that you'll see a lot of sections cut out mainly because there was so much reprofiling of the track. This section here was the hardest to do. It took me actually about an hour to get it correct. Most of that was actually just finding a picture of that turn because there isn't that many pictures of that turn. Until I remembered the picture of the old jumping tower at Barry's Amusements. Basically in the area where the big turnaround was there was a small juvenile drop tower. But now we're building the iconic loop. The loop got LED neon lights added it on it in 2019. This was during the time when Barry's had a future where basically everything was being rebranded. New logos, new rides, new lights on literally every single attraction. It was a really like promising time but then of course one year afterwards the whole park was abandoned and put up for sale which is a very sad thing to see. Now I'm just adding the sign on top that says Barry's Big Dipper. Sadly, I could not make the sign any taller, mainly because then it would be out of scale. Now we're building a little bit more of the ground and getting ready for to continue the turn as well as build the station. Something I'd like to mention though is this. I've noticed something about Barry's Amusements coasters. Literally every single one except for when Big Dipper was originally called Loop Ink Star and the Speedy Mice coaster has the word Dipper at the end. You have the original Dipper, you have the Little Dipper, you have the one of the Big Dipper coasters, then you have Loop Ink Dipper which was basically a clone of Barry's Big Dipper. Then you had another Big Dipper which was a Pinfari RC50 a co type of coaster I have not really seen that many of. And then you have the one we have today which is Barry's Big Dipper but before that it was called Loop Ink Star star which for some reason i don't understand why they were still branding it on the website as the looping star as well as the sign that said barry's big dipper was up when it was called looping star but now i'm building the station i forgot to mention this though but i did build the lift hill off camera i also built the small turn that leads into the first station the one where you board because Big Dipper is basically two stations. One is for exiting, which is the one that's closer to the loop, and the other one, which is at the turnaround, is where you get on. I also added in the artwork and paintings that are on the bottom of the ride structure. I have no idea what they're supposed to represent, because they basically just show all this random stuff. Dodgems and a wacky worm, which most likely is supposed to represent Pinfari's creations, because originally Pinfari made Dodgem tracks. Then eventually, the iconic wacky worm was invented. 
Now, as you can see, I just built, like, random, like, shapes and stuff on the wall things because I wasn't really sure how to do the art thing. I'm now building the second station, the one where you board. Off camera, I made sure to add in the small control booth that's there. Which is weird because I've been to Barry so many times and stared at him in amazement at the Big Dipper as well as checked my height every year. Now before I build the other bit of the station, I'm just finishing the track light which is building a small hill that goes over the other bit of the track as well as building the tur the next turn that basically at first I thought was a helix until I checked again. But actually it's just a turn right before you go up a hill through a straight section, round the turnaround before hitting the break run, which is extremely abrupt and extremely sometimes painful. Now I know that all of these station roofs are actually this reflective like mirror thing, but for that I just made it grey because it was the best I could do to represent it. Now we're moving on to another view and I'm building a little bit more of the ground. You know the drill, it's just concrete, concrete, concrete and then the blue section of where the graveyard is. Now in this section of the time lapse, I do build the water pool that's in the middle of the both turnarounds of the Big Dipper, both sides of it, I meant. However, I had to reprofile the turn because it didn't look good, which is another thing I did off camera as well as redid the water pools. So I completely jumped over that and we're now moving on to the catwalk, which is basically this wooden platform that goes down the side and is just used for evacuations. I did it in the exact same style as I built a Pinfari coaster in another world. Now I am just adding the top section which basically features the sign that says Big Dipper as well as the small loop. The loop disappeared for a few years but then came back with the neon LED lights which is very good to see. This top part up until around 2009 said Looping Star on the very top. So to finish off this time lapse we're building the supports. These supports are yellow, but just to make it less blocky, I decided to use birch fences, which actually looks fairly good in my opinion. Basically, the Big Dippers had the same colour scheme ever since its opening in July of 2002. Now, I don't understand why this was turned out, but there used to be, at the very bottom of the loop, there used to be a camera where you could get your photos taken and you could buy it from the smiley photo booth that was just up the path a little bit. I haven't seen many Big Dipper photos in recent years though. I don't know why it was turned off in the first place, I really don't know. While building the supports, I might just quickly explain, I don't think mo many people know this except if you're an enthusiast, of course, why those water pools are there. At first it might sound unsafe, but it is actually safe. I've noticed to the side that there's like this big water pump thing that stores water, so let's say for example one of the tanks ends up emptying, they just fill it up again. The reason why there's no foundations is because this coaster is meant to travel. Pinfari ZL42s can be transportable. Looping Dipper, the original ZL42 at Barry's, actually ended up going on the traveling fair circuit. It ended up going to Tramore Amusement Park as well as Bundoran Adventure Park. Which I hope B Barry's Big Dipper suffers the same fate and it can travel around Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. I know there wouldn't be that many showmen who would have the funds to travel such a large attraction, but maybe Thunderland could pick it up or something. Just save Big Dipper, that's all I'm saying. Now that concludes episode 9 of Building Barry's Amusements in Minecraft. In tomorrow's episode we're going to be building the Turtle Splash, Extreme Orbiter, as well as building the Express Train. Again, if you're enjoying this series and want to see more, please subscribe. And thanks for watching, and goodbye.